Hey bakers, John Cannell from Peppy Kitchen here. Today we're making this ridiculous strawberry pie. It is easy as pie, full of fresh strawberries. Has a little hint of lemon, it's sitting in this flaky butter crust, and it's basically summer in a pie. Let's get started. For this recipe, I'm using my perfect pie crust. It's all butter, really crispy, flaky, and it bakes up wonderfully every single time. I have all my tips and tricks in the blog post, so you can click over there. It's the link in the bio. And if you wanna see all the tips and tricks in a video, click up over here for my butter pie crust. All right, I tented it and here's the reveal. Look at that. Still pretty warm, but you can see baked up nice and golden brown, really perfectly flaky and so hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. Removing it, there we go. It'll cool much faster outside of the pie crust. Don't do that unless you're experienced and confident you won't break things. We're gonna set this aside to cool. And now for the filling, that was easy. <laughs> Starting off with the zest of one lemon, I really like to wake up the strawberry flavor with a bit of citrus. So go ahead and get the zest off of a lemon before you juice it. It's so much easier that way. I'm gonna put this in my little bowl. And now let's get to juicing. I want a quarter of a cup of lemon juice in this recipe. And I'm not gonna live on the edge. And pick seeds out, strain it. So depending on the size of your lemons, it's either gonna be like uh, two lemons to one and a half. That's great, that's a quarter of a cup. Set this aside and let's hull our strawberries. I have two pounds of washed strawberries over here. Do you love how I said zest the lemon before cutting it and then I proceeded to not use my zested lemon? <sighs> it's okay. Remove the cap. If you have those strawberries that are like super ripe, falling apart, maybe not even the prettiest strawberries, that's great for this recipe. You can reserve the really pretty strawberries for the top of the pie and use all of those delicious, kind of almost overripe strawberries for the filling. That's a nice strawberry. You can always tell when they're actually red inside. Sometimes at the grocery store, especially if it's off season, you'll see these beautiful red strawberries and on the inside, when you cut them open, they're like pure white and flavorless. It's very disappointing. Separating my strawberries into the pretty ones and the ugly ones. <laughs> the ugly ones are gonna get mashed up into the filling and the pretty ones will be arranged on the pie in a careless but artful manner. <laughs> okay, so before we deal with the strawberries, let's get our filling solution finished to my quarter cup of lemon juice and, you know, zest of a lemon, I'm gonna add half a cup of water, three tablespoons or 30 grams of cornstarch. I hate, hate feeling this stuff. It like sends shivers down my spine. But you're so useful as a thickening agent, so. Oof. I'm use my giant balloon whisk and let's just mix this up so it is a nice slurry instead of a giant lump of cornstarch in a citrus solution. We're gonna set this aside, and right now we'll make a reduction of strawberries with my you know, almost one pound of strawberries. I'm adding half of my hulled strawberries right into a sauce pot, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. I'm actually gonna zest just a little bit more lemon. All right, so just muddle those strawberries up. You can do this overheat as well, but I like getting it started before the burner's on because I don't wanna singe my hand. Strawberries are all started. Let's set them over a medium heat and get to reducing. If you want, you can mash them up a bit after you put them on the heat, but they're gonna kind of reduce on their own. Just come back and stir them around every once in a while. After about four to five minutes, you can reduce the heat to like medium low and just let them simmer for a while. They'll need at least 10 minutes and you want them to reduce by about half. Strawberries are so full of water that you need to get rid of some of that for your pie to not just be like a watery mess. So as those strawberries start breaking down, you can see they're releasing a ton of water and we just wanna let that slowly reduce to about 50%. Give it some time, don't try and rush it. By turning the heat up, that's not gonna work. and You'll burn the strawberries. When it's reduced and thickened up, you know it's ready for the next step. So my mixture is reduced about, you know, 30% of the way. I'm gonna add in my cornstarch lemon mixture because now it's time to get serious about thickening. I'm gonna bring that heat back up to like a medium high. And then this whisk, 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 whisk. This should thicken up pretty quickly, but even after it thickens up, we're gonna cook it for another like six or seven minutes. 
Okay, so this is all thickened up right now. Washed out my pie tin, my glass pie crust container. I don't know. Anyways, and this is all cool now as well. It smells so good. I can't even tell you. Place that back in there. I'm just holding it. I'm just placing the pie crust back in the container so when we cut it, it'll be nice and supported and nothing happens in the fridge. Okay, now for the fun part, just start arranging those wonderful, beautiful pieces of strawberry right in your pie crust. And this, by the way, is a nine and a half inch pie crust, so it's a pretty big one. All right, now we can pour, be careful, because things are hot. Smooth that out. And we're gonna shake and jiggle this a bit so it all, all gets in there. And then you can finish it off by placing some strawberries right on top. If you're gonna to top your pie with whipped cream or something else, this is totally like a redundant step. I just wanted to add a couple pretty strawberries to the top, uh, just for the sake of, you know, maybe a nice cover thumbnail you'll click on, <laughs> to be honest. I'm gonna thin out the remaining filling with a drop of orange liqueur, just to thin it out. And because it's delicious, so just get that thinned out and then just brush, 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 brush. I wanna give you some pro tips for this recipe now. If you notice your strawberries are not super sweet, add in an extra quarter cup of sugar. That'll balance things out. And if you do not like lemon, like this is almost a strawberry lemonade pie because it has a lot of zing, you can just skip the lemon juice and sub out for a quarter cup of water. Skip lemon zest as well if you're not a lemon fan. Strawberries are all brushed. This looks gorgeous to me. This screams summer and says, where is my gigantic mound of whipped cream to eat with this? Huh. Now the watering. We're gonna put this into the fridge for at least a few hours. You want it to set up nicely so when you cut it, it cuts up nice and firm. You can even make this the night before and it'll be great. Let's make some whipped cream and then serve it up. So let's add in two cups of heavy whipping cream. For the two cups, we're adding in a quarter cup of confectioner sugar. Whip that up along with a splash of vanilla. Keep an eye on this. If you let it go too far, it will curdle and turn kind of like cheesy and not as attractive as it should be. Can you imagine doing that by hand? My goodness. Okay, so that's whipped up and that's just how we want it. It's nice and thick. Behind the scenes, I mixed up a little bit of strawberry jam and a couple drops of orange liqueur, heat it up in the microwave, and I'm just brushing it onto the strawberries to turn them into glistening jewels. I've been waiting to do this for so long. I had to let it set for a few hours so I could photograph it, but look at this. Um, excuse me, what? That is so good. It's like just eating fresh strawberry suspended in a strawberry reduction with a little bit of whipped cream and a little bit of crispy pastry. It's perfect. If you like this recipe, check out my classic French fruit tart. It is just delicious, full of fresh fruit, and you are gonna love it. Or check out my chocolate eclairs. They are light, chocolatey, crispy, gooey, amazing. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.